Cliff, that was the last time that you two teams are going to meet in the league for this season. What a result. Yeah, it was a good game. I think um, I'm pretty sure anyone that came to watch it probably thought it was a good game. Um, I think we started really well, like really, really well. Um, barring probably the first couple of minutes of the second period, I was really delighted with, with how we played uh, across the 60. It seemed to get a little bit messy in the second period, but both teams were guilty of some couple of silly penalties, getting drawn into you know, a couple of silly penalties as well, and frustrations were starting to boil over a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think um, sometimes if the initial uh, infractions called, then maybe some of that other stuff doesn't need to happen, but it wasn't, and it did. Um, you know, I, I would never profess to our team being like, you know, the Broad Street bullies or anything like that, but they're not really going to sit around and just... Uh, let teams come in here and try and bully us um, but yeah no it was it was very fragmented that second period and everything that should have been a 50-50 we came out killing made no sense to me whatsoever uh, I watched the video at the end of the second period and I couldn't understand some of the situations and how we ended up with the penalties we did um, but it is what it is you know I'm not I'm not in charge of the game um, but yeah it, it was it was scrappy uh, the killing was exceptional uh, and hats off to all the guys that killed that five on three the sheer pace from end to end from Lightning tonight was, was, as you say, absolutely exceptional. I think in the first period, arguably, we probably saw the best 20 minutes of hockey in the first period this season so far. One of the best periods we've played, yeah. I, I'd probably put it alongside two or three other periods that we've played this year uh, at the top. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a good game. You know, it was two good teams going at it, uh, you know, and, and it tends to be that when we, we play Swindon. You know, both teams want to score goals, both teams want to attack. Um, but tonight was our night, you know. We've had plenty where we've come out on the wrong side of that against that same team. Yeah. Matt Smithle has got to get a mention tonight. Uh, he came up huge with some brilliant saves tonight. I, mean, I caught him just literally just before the game during the warm-up. And he just had this look on his face. That he was so into this game tonight. He was so up for it. And he proved that for the entire 60 minutes. Yeah, I think Smith's put a couple of really credible performances together now in a row. Uh, a week ago, Wednesday, Basingstoke, fantastic. But he was good against Telford last week. I think there's only probably one that, that he should have stopped um, and then he was really really good again tonight you know he's, he's putting a string of games together now uh, and we need him you know the team needs him he knows that there's a lot of responsibility on young shoulders but yeah he was absolutely fantastic tonight you still got a few weeks to go in the season the season is in dead of course I mean you know Telford are, have got a gap to you right now but you showed last week the results around the league that anybody can get we've said this all season anybody can beat anybody else you're still not out of it you can still go to you know to, to slough against bees on Sunday pick up another two points and who knows what's going to happen over the weekend around the league still in there yeah I don't think you ever say never you know it, it's um, but you know we, we probably went for a bad patch a couple of weeks ago that's probably not put paid to it but put us in a, a tough spot you know I think we'd have to go unbeaten for nine games remaining and then need Telford to drop like four games you know I can't really see it happening but like I said you know never say never could happen and we've just got to keep winning games and see what happens with the league table at the end of the season and it is all about building momentum for those playoff games as well come April yeah absolutely you know playoff groups start again from zero zero across the board you know um, you look at the groups I don't see a uh, as the league table stands now I don't see a nice group to be in so, you know, it'll be two groups of four teams each, competitive in both. And I, one thing I'll probably, you know, put my neck on the line and say, I, I bet you the four top teams in the league don't end up being the four teams that make it to Coventry. Yeah, I've said that on a number of occasions. It's, there, there, there are going to be some people, for, you know, some teams fall about the wayside. Last before we go, mention to the crowd tonight, another big crowd. It's been building week on week on week. And even for a Friday night crowd, a late, a late face off, this was a brilliant crowd tonight. Really noisy, got behind the boys. Yeah, fantastic. You know, that... that you know, credit for that goes to the guys that do the me the social media and, and the, you know the the marketing of the game. We are attracting new fans all the time, and uh, t generally, you know, if you get people through the door, they want to come back, and and you know, that's the biggest battle. And if they could come in for the first time tonight and saw that as a spectacle, I'm pretty sure they'll be back next Saturday. So you know, we we continue to grow on and off the ice, um, and it's it's just fantastic to hear and and to see that. Brilliant. Well, Cliff, thanks as always. Go again, go well on uh, Sunday. You can put your feet up tomorrow and have a, have a day off. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thanks Cheers, very much. Cheers, Chris. Thank you.